Hey guys, so today we're gonna to talk about rates as part of rates and ratios. So what are rates? So rates are a little bit different to ratios, where rates is when we compare quantities that are of different types. And some of the most common rates that you come across are kilometers per hour, milliliters per minute, or meters per second. Let's jump into a few examples. So example one says that a pipe gives 12,280 liters in two hours. What is this rate in milliliters per minute? Correct to the nearest milliliter. So first, we write our rate in the syntax that's required. So 12,280 liters in two hours. Now, in order to convert this into milliliters per minute, I first need to convert this into liters per hours. Now, if that's two hours per hour, I'm going to divide both sides by two. So we then see that it's going to be 6,140 liters per hour. Hello. Now we can see that if that's how many it is per hour, then we divide it by 60 to figure out how many liters per minute. Because if that's how many is in one hour, we want to figure out how many is in per minute. So we divide both sides by 60 and we get 307 over 72 liters per minute. Now you'll realize I left it as a fraction because that's the exact form. I want to round it off right at the end, not in my working out. So if that's how many liters it is, the question says milliliters. So now I'll convert that to milliliters by timesing that by a thousand and I get that many milliliters per minute. Now, obviously it's a decimal that uh, keeps going. So it says correct to the nearest milliliter. I round that off and I get 4,264 milliliters per minute. So the trick here is to convert one side first. So I converted hours, two hours to one hour, one hour to minutes, and then convert the other side to whatever you need to. Let's go on to example two. Example two says that Sam's heart beats 76 times per minute. How many times will it beat per day? So if it's 76 per minute, minutes to hours, I multiply by 60. Hours to days, I multiply by 24 because there's 24 hours in a day. And I get 100,800 beats per day. Pretty simple. Let's go on to part B. How long will it take to do 10,000 beats? Well, if it does 76 uh, beats per minute, then we just do 10,000 divided by 76. It gives me 131.578 continues on minutes. And we round that up to the nearest minute. So that becomes 132 minutes. Now, if we want that answer in hours and day, uh, hours and minutes, then we press the degree button after we divide it by 60 because there's 60 hours in, uh, 60 minutes in an hour, sorry. So we divide 132 by 60, we get two point something. We then press the degree button to convert to time and we get two hours and 12 minutes. I have three quick questions here for you guys to look at. Do them, pause the video, and then come back and look for the recommended answers. Okay, you should have got those recommended answers. Thank you very much and take care guys.